Good morning. Today is Mass is an offer for Jose Coton. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil in their couches. In the morning light, they accomplish it. When it, le when it lies within their power, they cover fields and size them, houses, and they take them. They sheet an owner of his house a man of his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against their race an evil for which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with head high, for I will be a time of evil. On that day, a satire shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plentiful chant. Our ruin is complete. Our field are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out, and no one can get them back. Thus you shall have no one to mark our boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why high in time of distress? Proudly the wicked harass the afflicted. Why are cowed in their device? the wicked have contrived. Do not forget the poor, O Lord, for the wicked man glories in the greed, and the covetous blas bla blasphemes seat the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts he will not avenge it. There is no God sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile, and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He locks in ambush near the village. In hiding, he murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon unfortune. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow, tucking them in your hands. And you, the unfortunate, the unfortunate man depends of the fatherless, you are the helper. 
Do not forget the poor, O Lord. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord the pharisees went out and took counsel against jesus to put him to death when jesus realized this he withdrew from that place many people followed him and he cured them all but he warned them not to make him known this was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break. A smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. And that sentence gives the impression that Jesus was running away and he did not want to confront the Pharisees once again. However, when we look at the words of the prophet Isaiah, we are going to understand that it was not his time yet. the time of God. We have been challenged with the time of God many times. When we realize that it's not God time to do something or for something to happen, things happen in his time. That was not the time for Jesus. And maybe the confrontation or the situation for us is to see that when is not God time, then they silence. We think that he is not paying attention to us, that he is not listening to us, that he doesn't care. But things happen in his time. In the meantime, the only thing that we can do is to hope for something completely different to open our minds, our hearts, to what he is preparing for us and for the gifts that he gives us every day so that we can deal with whatever situation comes into our life with his guidance. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the one we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the glory and praise of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. Mere voices we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, Lord. O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and other clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. From the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. For Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. And behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed this gift, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.